This is insane. Just last week, OpenAI showcased their new AI model, Sora. Now, this isn't your typical image generator, chatbot, voice assistant, or whatever else. Now, picture this. Sora can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. Check out this video to see what I mean. Every second of this is AI generated. It's pretty crazy, right? It's mind-blowing how realistic this turtle looks. And pay attention to how smoothly it moves. No weird extra limbs or glitchy body parts. Everything is on point and consistent. This capability of Sora isn't just about creating content. It's about crafting experiences that are deeply rooted in the complexities and nuances of our real world, making it a groundbreaking tool for creators and technologists alike. Now, why does this matter, you might ask? Imagine the possibilities for creators, designers, filmmakers, anyone in that creative field, really. Here's the kicker. Sora's not just out there for the tech wizards at OpenAI to play with either. They're actually bringing in red teamers to poke at it, looking for any potential harms or risks, and they're not stopping there. Hence, filmmakers will find it more convenient to craft top-notch films. Currently, Runway hosts film contests, showcasing nearly flawless AI cinema creations. Interestingly, based on OpenAI's demonstration, Sora is projected to surpass Runway's leading neural networks in video generation efficiency. To illustrate, check out these examples. While Runway produces videos of moderate quality, Sora churns out videos akin to Hollywood standards. I mean, just think about it. We're at a point where AI isn't just learning, it's understanding the dynamics of our world, the motion, the emotion, everything that goes with it. Sora's knack for generating complex scenes with lifelike characters and emotions? That's not just technical wizardry. It's a whole new era of storytelling, where the line between the fact and fiction gets blurrier by the day. And here's what's really getting me excited. OpenAI's approach to sharing their progress. They're not keeping Sora under wraps until it's all shiny and perfect. No, they're throwing open the doors wide, inviting feedback and giving us a glimpse into the future of AI capabilities. That level of transparency and collaboration is not just commendable, it's revolutionary. So what do you think? Are we ready for this leap into a future where AI brings our imaginations to life in full motion video? The potential here is just staggering. And I, for one, can't wait to see where this journey takes us. Google's AI chatbot Gemini hit a bit of a snag recently. It turns out this fancy machine wasn't exactly nailing it when it came to generating images of people. You know, think historical inaccuracies on steroids. Uh, picture this, Gemini attempting to portray the Pope and resulting in a cartoonish mix of racially diverse individuals. It's not exactly what you'd find in a textbook, but it does get juicier than this. When prompted to display images of only German soldiers from 1943, Gemini decided to take a stand. Why? Well, it appears it didn't want to perpetrate the exclusion and marginalisation of certain ethnicities. Admirable. Right? Except when it comes to race, Gemini suddenly gets all shy, refusing to generate images of people identified solely by their race. Now, some friends out there are pointing fingers accusing Google of pushing a woke agenda, but let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It seems Google's been burned by bias before, and it's doing everything it can to avoid history repeating itself. But maybe it's going a tad overboard, manifesting a less biased world in its image-generating models, even if it's a bit off. Maybe someone thinks that ignoring race or pretending we don't see colour somehow solves everything. But as anti-racist educator Robin D'Angelo puts it, that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. Google's attempts to gloss over biases in Gemini may be well-intentioned, but they're missing the mark. Instead of addressing the root of the problem, they're just papering over the cracks like a lazy landlord. Now, let's face it, guys, there's no easy fix here. Were AI vendors to address their model's shortcomings head-on in humble and transparent language, it'd go a lot further than haphazard attempts at fixing what is essentially unfixable bias. After all, we're all human, biases and all. It's time we acknowledge that both in ourselves and in the AI we're building. Whether AI vendors tackle biases head-on or sweep them under the rug, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. But maybe, just maybe a little transparency and humility could go a long way. London-based AI lab Stability AI just unveiled their latest marvel, Stable Diffusion 3, a text-to-image model that's bound to turn heads. Hold on to your hats because OpenAI, their fierce competitor, is not one to be outdone. 
As you know, they've rolled out Sora, a mind-blowing AI model capable of cooking up hyper-realistic videos from mere text prompts. But we've already spoken about them. Let's shift our focus back to Stability AI Stable Diffusion 3. This bad boy promises to revolutionize text-to-image generation, boasting enhancements across the board. From better handling of complex prompts to upgrading image quality and even improved spelling accuracy, it's like witnessing AI evolution unfold right before our eyes. Now, you might be wondering, how do I get in on this action? Well, hold on to your seats because Stability AI has just opened up a waitlist for early access to Stable Diffusion 3. And rest assured, they're not cutting any corners on safety. They're working hand in hand with experts to ensure this tech is as safe as houses in every step of the way. And here's what blows my mind. Stable Diffusion 3 isn't just a one size fits all deal. No, 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 no. Stability AI is offering a range of model sizes to cater to everyone, from aspiring creators to industry giants. It's all about striking that perfect balance between performance and accessibility. And as Stability AI puts it, our commitment to ensuring generative AI is open, safe, and universally accessible remains steadfast. So get ready, folks, because the future of AI is looking brighter and more creative than ever before. And if you're itching to delve deeper into the world of AI and big data, I suggest you mark your calendars for the AI and Big Data Expo. Trust me, it's an event you won't want to miss. So Google's recent stumble with its image generating AI model was definitely a wake up call. Awkward, right? But hey, at least Google owned up to it and highlighted the challenges of managing AI's impact on societal norms. It's a reminder that even tech giants have their learning curves. Nice. On the flip side, we've got Stability AI stepping up its game with Stable Diffusion 3. It's like they've taken a crash course in listening to feedback and coming back stronger. Offering a range of model sizes, that's like giving everyone at the party a slice of cake, no matter how big or small their appetite. It's all about finding that sweet spot between performance and accessibility. And let's not forget about Sora, that text-to-video model. Talk about a game-changer. It's like having a magic wand that turns your words into moving pictures. By inviting feedback from different creative minds, Sora's paving the way for responsible AI use in the world of visual storytelling. It's a bit like teaming up with your friends to make the ultimate movie. Everyone brings something different to the table. So as we wrap things up, let's reflect on what we've learned. AI is akin to a spirited stallion full of potential, but requiring gentle guidance. Mistakes are inevitable, but they offer invaluable opportunities for growth and improvement. By maintaining open dialogue, embracing lessons from our journey, and upholding the delicate equilibrium between progress and accountability, we pave the way for a promising future ahead. So let me know what you think in the comments of all this AI wizardry going on recently. And I, for one, am excited, I think. It really depends on where things go and how things will actually look when we get to the point of not knowing what's real and what's not anymore.